So what I worked on was an alternative energy project where we wanted to design very tiny particles that basically mimic photosynthesis and harness the power of the sun to generate electricity. Most of the energy we use is generated by the use of fossil fuels, which are non-renewable. So our project set out to create a system to use the power of the sun to generate electricity that doesn't need the use of fossil fuels. One of the biggest challenges that we had to overcome was getting the synthesis of the particles to repeat. At the time, we didn't really know a lot about the environment that the particles had to be in to be synthesized, such as like the solvent or the temperature or the equipment that we needed to use. So that was the biggest thing that we had to overcome. Before we conducted our experiments, we hypothesized that we could synthesize these tiny particles known as quantum dots and use them in solar cells, which are essentially two pieces of glass with an anode and a cathode in them hooked up to a circuit and when we exposed sunlight to the particles, we could measure the voltage created across the circuit. And what we found was we were able to successfully make the particles and use them in the cells to generate electricity. Sam has persevered in this process with respect to figuring out that what you read in every article may not always be the reality when you try to produce it on paper or in the, in the lab. Once we reached that point of understanding what those toggle nozzles were on those ups and downs, we were able to kind of get to a, a finishing point where we feel like we've at least got some glimpse into the mechanism.